sprained ankle. Iowa guard Val Barnes, he had started every game, hurt an ankle at Northwestern Thursday. He's on the bench and will not start, but he will play. Now, A.C. Earl is not starting again uh, today because of disciplinary action being taken growing out of an, a simple assault charge. But A.C. Earl will play, and he is a very important member of this organization. The Big Ten standings now reflecting what has happened, as you see. Indiana winning today now goes to 15-3. and three. Ohio State, if they should lose today, would tie with Indiana. They would effectively be co-champions. That's true. But remember, Ohio State would get the automatic bid because they beat Indiana twice this season. I personally think that I'd like to see a rule adopted where only 50% be the maximum allowed in a postseason. We may have right now, for example, eight teams coming out of the Big East, and I think it's unfair to all those little schools like Fordham and Siena and Northern Illinois that win better than 20-some games and then get left out. So I'd like to see mandatory 50% at the most in an NCAA tournament out of any specific conference. In the first game between these two teams at Columbus this season, the Buckeyes won it with four free throws in the last 29 seconds, 63-59. Jimmy Jackson had 20 points. So the series is pretty close over the years at 55 and 53. Now, these are the teams uh, that are in as of the moment. In effect, the automatics having won their championship. The one thing that bothers me about these postseason conference tournament is I think it's demeaning to go out and win your conference championship in the regular season and then lose in your postseason conference tournament and not get an automatic bid. That doesn't make any sense to me. Well, sometimes you'll see that happen. We see some interesting wins here. For example, St. Francis of Pennsylvania with a Mikey Zolino went out and beat a good Fordham team. The question is now, will Fordham get in? I personally think they belong in the big dance. They had a great regular season. Fordham was outstanding, 24-7 and on the Nick McCarcher. Today's officials are Ed Hightower, Jody Sylvester, and Eric Harmon. Three very good ones. And this is one of the premier basketball settings for college basketball in the country. Made a bad seat in the house. It's really beautiful here. The arena is really special. The fans really get behind their Hawkeyes. These players are really treated with unbelievable uh, uh, feeling of royalty when you play here in Iowa. Very similar to what happens down at Kentucky. Maybe not on that level where Rick Pitino has them going bananas down at Lexington. Iowa playing what most of the season has been a three-guard offense, and you wouldn't get the feeling that you could succeed in Big Ten playing a three-guard offense. But actually, uh, Tom Davis didn't have a whole lot of choice. Dr. Tom Davis has done an outstanding job this year after the down season last year, 12 and 16. To have this club potentially a chance to get into the NCAA tournament with so many young players, they don't have one senior on his squad. And you mentioned earlier, Keith, a key player, A.C. Earl, has a chance to break the record in the Big Ten for block shots. He needs three to tie today. Randy Brewer and Dean Garrett, who played at Indiana, four to break the record. The guy that's been red hot for Iowa lately has been James Moses, number 24. Ohio State is coming off a loss at Purdue on Thursday night. Moses had 30 against Illinois and then had 29 against Northwestern. Moses has the ball out in front. They go to the freshman street out as Troy Skinner, number 11, from the corner. Moses! And the Hawkeyes jump for the lead. Right on cue. He starts it off with that rhythm jump shot. Came out of high school, heavily acclaimed, and didn't live up to the expectations. Ohio State in the red. Lee, that's uh, Mark Baker, number three, the point guard, handling out in front. Iowa plays their typical trapping defense and rotate back into a zone. Jackson had 20 points in the first game this year. The Hawkeyes spoil it. Street comes up with it. Skinner moves it. Jackson had a bad game against Purdue, was 4 for 14. In fact, Ohio State shot 27% in the second half. Take it inside, Buckeyes. Take it away from them as Carter comes up with the ball. They were trying to work it to Moses. I think it's important that Ohio State get some real transition baskets. Air ball, baby. Craig Lee doesn't throw iron, and Moses no, it won't go with that one. Rebound is taken outside by Rodell Davis. That's what he does well. Good offensive rebounder. He's had serious knee 
problems that's really made his career tough here in Iowa. Good handling of the ball. Charging call and no basket. So the Buckeyes don't get the bucket and Carter gets a foul. Right now in the first minute of action, certainly Randy Ayers has got to be a little bit concerned with the way his club has started out. They want to go in on an uptick, not on a downtick after having such a fantastic year. Well, we made that point last week. There have not been closures lately. Skinner trapped in backcourt. Just muscles his way out of it and feeds it to Moses. Inside, good pass. Winners won't go down. And Carter rebound. Winners is part of their complimentary forwards that they play. Street and Winners, two good freshman prospects. Jackson, that's a big time move right there. That's an absolute superstar move. They go to their full court trapping defense. It's very similar to Iowa's pressure. Inside Street, the freshman picks it up. They really think he's going to be special. He was a quarterback in football who threw for over 4,000 yards. Yeah, he, he, he must have worked out of a single wing. You can't hunker down too much with that much height, can you? Hey, you better tell your boy Hayden Fry to get him. <laughs> He's got a good one. Fellow named Rogers. Yeah, his dad was the former coach of uh, the Boston Celtics, Celtics yeah. Jimmy Rogers. 6 5 ball game. Hawkeyes lead, make it 8 5. As Davis hangs and now has four points. See, I think for both clubs, it's going to be very important that they finalize against the pressure. And right now, they're taking the ball right at Ohio State's pressure, Iowa. Out of the corner. That won't go. Brown. Here comes Moses. Two on one. Should have taken it in himself. Davis misses the shot. Yeah, good call, Keith. He made a bad decision. Give it up the ball way out there. Should have taken it to the goal. Jackson's got room. I just love Jimmy Jackson. He's my player of the year in a Big Ten. He's got such great poise, leadership ability. He's got winner across his chest. Barnes and Earl waiting to come in the ball game for Iowa. Barnes got that ankle problem. They feel that he's about at 70%. Looked all right yesterday, I thought, in the shooting drill. Bouncing around pretty well. Well, I was traveling. I didn't get a chance to watch shooting, Drew. You gave me all the information today. You supplied all... you're upright. And you're supplying all the data. There's the man to man defense. Street works away from him and gets in free. I really like Street. They think he can be better than Matt Bullard, who was a special player, and now playing with the Houston Rockets. That was a heck of a move. He's got good instincts, good savvy. 6'8", 200-pound freshman from Indianola, Iowa. Homegrown. Just made the steal, too. He deflected it. He's the first guy down the floor. Skinner, another homegrown, brings it up for them. Winners off the glass. I would really be concerned. They're beating Ohio State down the floor. Baker. Charging. By Randy Ayers, I got to think about a timeout. They're going to get a TV timeout. Plymouth Voyager. The first minivans are still first. And you had all night long playing around. Playing, Mama. Playing. Now you're always on the streets. On the road, Mama. On the road. Hanging out with that bad crowd. They're called the bad boys. Now you say you're going to work it out. Work out, Mama. I'm going to work out. Mama, I'll be okay. Got my jail. Who is Jill? My Asics Jill. Asics Jill cross trainers. Isaiah, don't forget your shoes. How do I know where to get my brakes done right? Come to Midas. You get a lot of value for the price, plus peace of mind, knowing the job will be done right. That's why more people come to us for brakes, knowing that nobody beats Midas. Nobody. Alka-Seltzer's Laws of Indigestion, law number five. The more sensitive your stomach is to pepperoni pizza, the more you will crave it. For heartburn with headache, you need Alka-Seltzer, because there's no law against fast relief. 
the Crimson Tide of Alabama meets Tennessee for the SEC Tournament Championship or the title game in the Southwest Conference. Coming up as ABC's college basketball continues. Keith, we're going to see a little one-on-one -on -one by Street. But right here, Jackson and Carter do not come over to close off the driving angle and take the charge. Now watch Street in a little one-on-one -on -one maneuver. See, Carter goes way out. Now here's Jackson, very slow to close off the driving angle. And Street goes right to the goal. Very poor job right there defensively in their half-court defense. And Randy Ayers will let them know about it when he shows them this in a film. Look at Indiana, winning by 12. The that was that champagne, too. It is my alma mater. They're up six over to Hoyas. Play comes in to Val Barnes, who's into the ball game now. Sophomore from Wichita, Kansas. A.C. Earl is also in the lineup. He's the big 6'10 man. Sophomore from Moline, Illinois. He's their leading scorer on the interior. Moses forces the shot, eats it, gets it back, gets it up. Earl, look what I found. He's 6'10", and it makes it in. And he takes it to the goal. Poor shot selection right there by Moses. Good defense by... Oh, what a great play. What a great play! Jackson wakes up the Buckeyes, and he's fouled by Earl. That reminded me of the play we saw in that UCLA-Arizona game. Yeah. The great bounce pass. Watch this pass right here by Baker. He drives it to Jackson, and Jackson completes the play, and they rock and roll in Columbus, Ohio. 14 to 9, the score. Make it 10. Jackson has really come to play. I see here comes the full court trap with Chris Jen at the point. Carter out, and Robinson in for the Buckeyes. Bill Robinson, the seven footer. See, they got AC Earl as the postman. That's what you want to have. Barnes to Earl. Earl has the ball deflected. I don't know whether he was trying to pass it or shoot it. Not a good decision. Buckeyes all of a sudden decide they're going to up the tempo and run some, and Baker gets hit with his second charging foul. That's the third one thus far called on Ohio State in transition, the third charging foul. Randy Ayers, an amazing job he's done. So liked. He could be the mayor of Columbus, Ohio. Baker, a key player, the catalyst, coming back from that ankle injury he suffered against Indiana. But his ball club is showing some flat signs at the end of the season, and that's a troublesome thing. Well, they could have had that happy moment after beating Michigan State, feeling they clinched their first championship since 1971. Greg Taylor, Luke Whitty. You want to end and win it outright, don't you? Yeah, you want to win it outright, even though they can claim we beat Indiana twice. Oh, not a good play. That's a dreadful uh, shot by uh, A.C. Earl. And he's got all tied up with the ball. AC doesn't want me to talk about that being all bricklayer city, baby. He's far and away the biggest man out there at 6'10. Outside of Robinson, and he's got a, a foot speed edge on Robinson. Robinson's on him right now, and Earl forces the shot up. Smith rebounds it, give it back inside, and it's kicked out of bounds. It'll be Iowa ball. See, AC Earl's really forcing the action inside rather than being patient. The ball comes to him. Now he's got a one-on-one -on -one maneuver. He's going to go against Robinson, try to beat him with his foot speed, like you said. Quickness takes it up and throws up a little brick. Not a bad move for the guy. Kevin Smith has checked in for the Hawkeyes. Number 10, good quick little guard out in front, working out there with Val Barnes. Yeah, he is quick. He's got ultra quickness from out of Texas. They recruited him. Rodell Davis wearing that big knee brace. Being guarded by Jimmy Jackson. Chris Jen is in for the Buckeyes. Give it to Earl, and he slams it in. That was a great play. Excellent penetration, and Earl finalized on the baseline with the explosion to the goal. Again, the Buckeyes take it inside. Jackson can't get it to go down, and the Hawkeyes come out of here with it. He's here. He'll drop it to Smith, the trailer. I like that little guy. He was almost going to go to Arkansas, but he said, hey, PT, I wouldn't get any playing time with Todd Day and Lee Mayberry. 18 to 10, an eight-point lead for Iowa. This place is alive. Baker is whistled, and he is fouled, and it could be Barnes. Cody Sylvester with the call. Winner. Pick one. Barnes. A.C. Earl wants to break that record in the Big Ten. He needs four. Well, here's one. 
Excellent timing. Look at AC Earl right there, averaging 3.3 blocks, but more important than that, that is 52, needs 54 to tie, 55 to break the big, big 10 record of Randy Brewer and Dean Garrett, one of the first junior college players ever to play for Bobby Knight. Jamie Skelton has checked in, a freshman from Dayton, Ohio, for the Buckeyes, handling the ball out in front of Jackson. Now Jamal Brown went out. They're going to make them shoot that perimeter shot here. That's their game plan. They're going to make Ohio State shoot from deep and try to pack it in. Baker also getting the blow. Jackson stays. This Jim could shoot the ball on that perimeter. Craig Lee gives it to Robinson. Skelton off the base. Off the basket. That good for two as Earl was late getting his hand up. Yeah, definitely goaltending right there. Really didn't have the good angle for the shot block. There's a little baseline drive by Skelton. Here comes Earl. And there's no way to have a chance even to go in. Not a good decision. Smith being checked by Skelton. That's a pair of quick ones. Ohio State's changed their look defensively. Multiple defenses. They're going to a zone right now. They're trapping the corners out of it. One, three, one. Skinner. Play one, two, drop. Jimmy Jackson running a baseline in the back line of the one, three, one zone. Three people there. Guy the point, three guys across the wing, and a guy on the baseline. Look at Jackson, 22 on the baseline. We can show this. Winners inside, Robinson can't handle him. And he slides under Bill, and he scores, and it's field run. See, that's just lackadaisical basketball being very lethargical right now. Randy Ayers needs an emotional timeout with his team. Moses is called for the foul as he hacked him over the arm and 12.38 to go in the first half, 22-12 Iowa. They're really having a tough time in the last two possessions against the full court pressure. See, from a confidence standpoint, Randy Ayers' team's had such a phenomenal year. But if you lose your last two games to Purdue and to Iowa, it's going to really set you back going into the tournament. Yep. Well, it immediately gives your future opponent confidence. Gives them hope. They are not invincible. They become beatable. The way they were playing, no one thought they had a chance around here to beat them. Jackson pops it up. That's good for two. Eight-point lead now for the Hawkeyes. He's such a complete player, Jimmy Jackson. Skinner against Kelvin. Staying in that 1-3-1 one, one zone. Got to get into the gaps. If you want two guys along the baseline, you present problems for Jackson. So they're going to overload against him and dump somebody to the box. Moses is just back and forth. He's like a windshield wiper down there, isn't he? Back and forth. And then they slide. A.C. Earl will slide down to the box and overload. See when Moses gets the ball, now A.C. Earl comes over to the box. Tom Davis likes to use the bounce pass. He did a great job at Boston College. Lafayette went to Stanford. There's that slide to the baseline. Reach inside. Street is fouled. He's pinched in between Carter and Jim. Many of the concepts utilized by Ohio State are very similar to Tom Davis because Gary Williams was an assistant coach to Tom Davis. Gary did an amazing job this year with Maryland. Doesn't get a lot of recognition, but what a job he did at Maryland. Great defense starts with your feet. And I have MVP feet. That's why I plan to pump. From Reebok. When I'm pumped up, I get support, protection, and a custom fit that's unbeatable. I'm a hot dog, but when it comes to protection, this is no bull. Pump up and air out. Switch to the greatest sports performance shoe in the world, the Reebok Pump. Pump up and air out. For years, you've depended on State Farm to insure your car. But did you know you can also depend on us to protect your family's future? State Farm. We sell life insurance. For years, you've depended on State Farm to insure your home. But did you know you can also depend on us to provide financial security for those you love? State Farm. We sell life insurance. Inside, your smooth-running engine is a torture chamber. And under these grueling conditions, only one leading motor oil meets the world's toughest requirements for viscosity breakdown, Castrol. 
Castrol provides maximum protection against viscosity and thermal breakdown. So use Castrol. After all, why make things tougher on your engine? Castrol GTX, engineered for today's smaller cars. It's the dramatic finish of the Iditarod, plus more of the Jeep superstars and the Florida Derby presented by John Deere, all Saturday on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Keith, one of the concepts against the zone is to try and overload. Watch right here how Street will slide to the box. And with Street there and here, and Earl's going to slide up here, they're going to have three against two. You take a look right now. There goes Street. He goes to the low box inside. Earl is up high. And now they force two people to play three. And that's a tough move to really match up. You must communicate in your defense against that. There's a good look at the doctor, Tom Davis. Hawkeye is inbounded, goes to Street. Earl is 6'10", Street 6'8", and they lose it out of bounds. Uh, again, a bad decision by uh, Earl trying to force the ball back inside because Street was pretty well locked up. Both well, clubs shooting fairly well. Ohio State shooting 67%, not getting enough opportunities, losing possessions with those charging fouls. Inside, Carter has it blocked by A.C. Earl, and now Russell stops it inside. Hey, do you think A.C. Earl's going to break that record? What do you think odds are? He's, He's got two already. It's two more. That adds such a dimension to your defense when you have a shot blocker. But a good shot blocker has to learn to keep the ball in play, like Bill Russell used yep. to do. Yep. Keep it in play and get layups up on the other end of the floor. Craig Lee will go to the line, and the foul was called on Rodell Davis, who's back into the lineup. Bobby Knight says Craig Lee's the most improved player he's seen in many a year in the Big Ten. Got good by Lee. Street whips it out in a hurry as they get it to midcourt and break the pressure. They throw it right over the top three. Barnes, Earl, he's going to take the shot. He's going to miss it. Gets it back, muscles it up. Nothing like having size, Keith. What an advantage. He's a raw bone kid. He hadn't learned to play the game totally yet. But like Tom Davis says, you can't teach shot blocking. And you can't teach size. What he has to do is learn how to mature a little bit yeah. off the court and realize as an athlete or as a person, he's got responsibility to the university, but most of all to himself because he's had some problems off the court, like that simple assault with his girlfriend. Craig Lee rips a two-pointer, and that reduces the Iowa lead now to six at 24 to 18. Craig Lee stepped right into the gap. Skinner, long lead bounce pass to the corner for Davis. Man-to-man -man defense now by Ohio State, rotate out of the zone. They've been a good man-to-man -man team all year. Davis. I was really playing well because he's a non-shooter and when he's shooting the little jumper. Earl intimidated the shot, changed it, and they missed it. Street double teamed on the baseline, forced it, didn't get it. Frank Lee looks a little bit tired right now. He looks like he's really walking up the court. Chris Jett enters. Wow, the sixth man he is. One of the best ones in America. Remember my old Dennis Eckersley's coming out of the bullpen. Got a two on two. Davis works his way in, just turns it on. Hey, he's having a phenomenal day today, Rodell Davis. Got eight points. Buckeye fans are all fired up. It's Seton Hall plus eight. What a job P.J. Carlissimo has done at Seton Hall. Georgetown will be in the big dance. Hey, Nebraska, Missouri. I don't believe Missouri should be playing in this postseason. I think when you're on probation, you should be not part of the opportunity to play to win that berth. Even though they're not going to deny a chance to Kansas, Nebraska, and Oklahoma State, I think it hurts the image of the league when a team on probation wins the tournament. Buckeyes steal the ball. Lee misses the shot. Here's the whistle. Here's the foul. Foul is on Chris Jent. And Eastern Michigan has been quite a story this year, too, haven't they? Well, the map, the Mid-American Conference. Remember last year, Ball State went in yep. and challenged UNLV. They also went out and they beat, uh, last year, they beat Louisville. The Max had good, good basketball. So the conference going on, Eric Harmon. Trying to determine who the last foul was on. I called it on Jim. I pointed to him, in a way, and Chris had that look about it. 
You know, Keith, I really feel strong about that when I see Missouri. Not to take anything away from Norm Stewart and his kids, Doug Smith and Anthony Peeler, but you're on probation. The right of a tournament is for the winner to get an automatic berth to the NCAA. And if you're on probation, can't play in the NCAA, why should you be part of the tournament? I agree. Chip. Well, thank you. I am glad my man agrees with me. <laughs> Robinson uh, was the man in charge of that foul, not Chris Gimp. There goes the trap. Whoa. Whoa. They hit the backboard. The Ohio State pressure pays off. Yeah, that's really a bad pass. What you want to do against the pressure, two things. You want to be able to reverse the ball, step one line off the ball, the guy that throws the ball in bounds, and two, you want to have a postman. Jamal Brown, Mark Baker are your guards again now. Put Jet up on the front line as a swing man with Robinson and Craig Lee. Jamal Brown's going to have to hit that three. He can shoot the ball out here. He's got to look right at the top of the circle. Jet can't get it, and Robinson knocks it out of bounds. Jamal Brown is wide open at the top of the circle. He's got to start thinking of that jump shot. This kid plays so hard, Chris Jet. Coach's dream comes to play every minute on the floor. We get the pass inbounds to Val Barnes. Now back to Smith. And Smith is quick enough to get it up the court. In fact, takes it in and misses the shot. Well, he took his eyes off the basket. He was anticipating a, someone trying to block his shot. She reversed the ball back out. Straight knocks it out. They reversed the ball back out. Jamal Brown is the option they should be looking for on a perimeter. 28-20, Iowa leading by eight. 8.55 to play in the first half. See, right now, Brown's got to step up and look for that jump shot. Baker. Robinson's tip. Robinson gets it. Good rebound by Robinson. And fouled by Barnes. Saturday at 3, 2 Central, ABC's Pro Bowlers Tour goes into the New York City for the $130,000 Long Island Open. And then at 4.30, 3.30 Central on ABC's Wide World of Sports, the conclusion of the Iditarod. A great race in Alaska. And we'll get Jack a root better. Dark Eye Jack, I miss him. He may have frostbite. We also have the uh, Jeep Superstars and the Florida Derby on uh, Saturday here on ABC Sports. Not a good job entering the ball from the baseline. This has really been a sloppy performance early by Ohio State. Air ball. Rebound. Davis. Rodell Davis is the star early today. What a job he's doing offensively on the boards. Ten-point lead for the Hawkeyes. Shot is blocked and deflected inside by winners and a whistle and a foul. I'll tell you right now, early in this game, I was definitely out of hustling and out scrapping the Buckeyes. Webb, who just came into the game, gets the foul. Here's a look at Rodell Davis. I mean, he just out of hustling. Robinson right here for this ball. Now the little guy's going to take it up with a left-handed twist. I mean, that's a great shot. Reverse layup. What a performance he's having in the first half. Ten points. Robinson will go to the line as a result of Webb's foul. He's a sophomore, 6'8". A lot of young people on this Iowa basketball team. They're expecting great things for Jay Webb. But Jay Webb has really been a disappointment this year. They thought he was going to be really an outstanding power player on the boxes. He's got a lot of potential. It's up to him whether he's going to be a good player or not. That ball was knocked out of bounds by uh, Craig Lee. And the Hawkeyes will get it. Ten points, three assists for Davis. Had those knee problems, all kinds of surgery. What a nice screen in the back <laughs> That's like running into a tree. Nice screen. Inside, they go to Earl. Inside, outside. And it's off Ohio State. Randy Ayers is begging his case a little bit, but he doesn't get a call. Ten-point lead, Hawkeye. Everything else is 
just hot air. The hot, delicious pizza of your choice can be at your doorstep in 30 minutes or less. You can almost taste it. Come on, give us a call. Welcome back to our studios in New York. I'm John Saunders. Indiana can share the Big Ten title if Ohio State loses the game you're watching. They beat Illinois. And in the Mid-American Conference, Eastern Michigan, the top seed, now in the field of 64. Let's go back to Keith and Dick. Thirty twenty ball game, Iowa. Outrunning and outfighting Ohio State right now. Buckeyes big man Perry Carter is on the bench. Buckeyes a little bit out of sync. Seemingly so far, they were a little out of sync in West Lafayette the other night when they got beat. Well, they're getting out rebounded 16 to 7. I'll need Perry Carter. He's a Windex fan, one of the premier rebounders in the Big Ten. Troy Skinner, who took the shot. Oh, that's great hustle right there. Now, that's just great hustle by the Buckeyes. They call a foul on him, but that is just pure great hustle. Jamal Brown will get the call against him. I tell you, if I'm coaching, if I see Randy Ayers is clapping his hands, he's clapping his hands because if you're going to get a foul, I would not mind a foul for a kid hustling. Look at Jamal Brown. I mean, he's making like a sprinter. And there's the little contact going for the ball. I don't know. You do you call a foul there? I, mean, yeah, I wouldn't call a foul. <laughs> That's yeah. a non-call. I think so. But I'm not out there. Troy Skinner. Oh, look at that screen in the back. They lay those big screens for big people to help their guards. No defense right now again by Ohio State. 1-3-1. Go to a 2-1-2 set. You should get some good baseline shots or post moves down in the box where AC Earl is. And Moses is back in. He was out for a good long time. Davis, of course, stays in because he has had the hot hand. For the Hawkeyes. Ohio State trying to match up, play a man in the area of the floor in this 1-3-1. There's the skip pass. Moses is fouled by Robinson. Ohio State's defense is making Iowa use a lot of clock and use a lot of time. And they're demonstrating some good patience, which is important in attacking the zone. Well, today I can't wait when you get those bids come out, you find out what's going to happen. Everybody all year long tips off on October 15th in practice for that dream. And there's A.C. Earl. Tip in for Earl. And then it's the full court pressure. 12 point lead, Iowa. Steal the ball. Really careless with the basketball. Pass to Moses. Get a T.O., baby. You better get a T.O. So these people who call, they feel like they want to be AT&T. They say, well, we, we've got AT&T quality, we've got AT&T service, we've got AT&T this and that. So I say, yeah. just put it in okay, right. Put it in I right. mean, I hate to sound like I'm not interested, but I, I'm not interested. Yeah, hello. I've always had AT&T. I'm, no one gives me near the service they give me. No one gives me more ways to save. I'm supposed to give all that up? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No matter what they say, it doesn't add up to AT&T. You have a good day. They want to be, but they're not AT&T. Dodge Caravan Plymouth Voyager, the first minivans 
are still first. Behold the Sherman Shuffle. The Rod and Roll. Hey, the Oak Tree. Nike. Foot Locker. Take a lesson. You talking to me? Nike at Foot Locker, where it all begins. Here is the one, two, one, pressure. Now watch right here. The offensive player is going to enter the ball here, and then he's going to step in bounds for the retreat pass. Now when that happens, watch this right now. Now we're going to see the ball reverse. Now right there, see right here, he should take the ball up the court with a dribble. He's got all that real estate. It's unbelievable. Now he's going to try to throw the ball right through two people. And there's the mistake, and they do a great job, Iowa, of punishing you by finalizing and scoring off the steal. Hawkeyes on an 8-0 run over the last three minutes. Jackson in the corner. It's Gent and Brown and Baker and Robinson. Carter stays on the bench. There's that zone, that 3-2 look. Reverse the ball to Jamal Brown and shoot the jumper. Gets that overload against the zone. Brown's open. Street comes out to cover him. See, the perimeter people only going to look at the basket. You've got to look, Chris, shoot the ball. Chris Gent nails three. It's wide open. They're giving him that perimeter shot. He could shoot it, so could Brown. Skinner brings it up against Brown. Street out in front, handles it. I think good decision by Randy Years to get out of the zone and go man-to-man -man defensively. Well, they're quicker than I. Yeah, Jamal Brown right now has got better quickness than Skinner, but Skinner yep. protects the ball. Good yeah, ball handling, steady. Play for his dad. Robinson slipped a little bit. That freed Earl. Earl took a wound up, taking a bad shot. AC takes a few shots that aren't there. Baker missing. Kent rebounding inside, and Skinner fouls him. Looked like Skinner had all ball in that series. Chris Gentle really hustling. Look at Skinner, he can't believe it. He says, come on, give me a break, I'm a little guy. Carter will come back into the ball game now. Robinson goes out for the blow. They need a good performance out of Carter. That's what we'll have for you at halftime. Beth Ruak with a feature on uh, Hamilton College. For academics. And the slam fest. What are you going you to make a career out of this slam fest? I'll tell you, it seems every year I'm doing the slam fest. Little Jam City <laughs> Foot Locker Slam Fest. John Saunders working overtime in the studio. There's a look right now. It's got to be a concerned Ohio State group. Brown handles it. And the deep rebound, but the Buckeyes turn, turn the ball over. They've played a very sloppy ball game so far today. Winners handles for the Hawkeyes. And uh, Val Barnes sprained his ankle, only played six minutes up at Northwestern the other night. He's been a good player, a very steady player from out of junior college. Butler Junior College played for Randy Smithson in Kansas. Buckeyes are really clawing and scratching. Randy Ayers looking for a five-second call on that trap the last time down. Didn't get it. Your street. You gotta look out. He'll go in there on you. And uh, the ball is nudged out of bounds by the foot of Jimmy Jackson. Street wants the foul. Randy Ayers applauding his team. We're looking at the number two team in the nation. They're not playing like that now. Look right behind them, Indiana. Hey, could Indiana sneak in for a number one seed? Or will the winner out of Duke, North Carolina, get the number one seed in the East? James Moses is back in the lineup for the Hawkeyes. You better hurry up. You're going to get a, a call against you. That is a five-second violation. He's got to get rid of the ball. Fire to five. Freshman took too long to look at it. Tom Davis had NCAA teams in 81 and 82 at Boston College. Clear it in to Brown. Brown gets away from Smith. Can't get it. Foul is on winner. Years, Mr. GQ, can he dress? Good looking, bright, articulate. He said, Look, give me a break. What's going on? 
He's looking for some help. He grabs his head. He says, gee, coaching's not supposed to be like this. The foul was not on Winters. The foul went the other way on Carter. Carter standing around a little bit too much rather than being active and aggressive for the basketball. Barnes is going to go to the line as uh, they get into the bonus. One plus one. He was a real good junior college player. He's a combo guard. He can play the point guard position or the second guard position. First points today, 35-24, 11-point lead, Iowa, 4.48 to play in the first half. You can see their eyes, and they tell the story. Real concern for the two team in the nation. Remember, if they lose, Keith, with Indiana winning, mathematically, it's 15-3, and they both co-champs in the Big Ten, even though they get the automatic berth because they have beaten Indiana twice. See, wide open. Look at the top of the circle. It's wide open. Jamal Brown is not even looking at the basket. Step up and shoot it, Jamal. He had a big day shooting the ball against Indiana. Well, now they're matching up. Kent, they leave alone, and he won't get it this time. Carter rebounds it as a whistle and a foul. See, they're moving the ball. They're using a lot of time, and I think you can get a better shot than that where you're shooting a jump shot with a hand in your face. I think you got to get into the gaps a little more. And this guy here has got to get active. He hasn't been a factor right now. Perry Carter's got to get active. He's too good a player. This is class, Steve. What a class guy Randy Ayers is. You got Craig Lee back in and Jen out now as Carter goes to the line. Well, Lee and Carter have not been productive. Yes, yeah. But after what happened yesterday, remember Louisville had a 20-point lead over Florida State with 17 minutes to play and lose? I mean, I couldn't believe it. When I heard that score, they were up 20. I said, Louisville, 15 and 15, now in the big dance. I wake up this morning, I'm sitting in the bathtub, I open up the paper, I couldn't believe it, they lost. You're sitting in the bathtub with I the was, newspaper? Yeah, that's where I do all my homework, sitting in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> Wide open, Jamal Brown, shoot it. Carter hitting the board, but Iowa comes out with it. And A.C. Earl handling it like a hot rock. Oh, nice pass. Winners all along. Blows it. He tried to make a reverse. He thought you get three points with degree of difficulty. He had an easy layoff. Now frustrated, he comes down and fouls. Yeah, what well, makes a silly play. Great pass. He had the open layup. They think this young guy is going to be a special player. Now watch the bounce pass by Smith. Wide open. He's got a little layup right there. Now he's going to reverse. Why? He thought you'd get three with the degree of difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Tom Davis. He's doing a little talking. Always coaching. Everything in the world is better done simply. I've been trying to tell it to myself. Few words. Things are done simply, but I can't seem to master that. Baker makes the first one. That's his first point of the day. Baker really had a tremendous run early this season. Then he went into a little, well, I wouldn't say a slump, but a little bit of a, a period where he wasn't playing like he did earlier. Then he had that ankle injury. And it takes time to get back to your timing and rhythm. I like Baker, though. I think he's the best point guard in the Big Ten. Ten-point lead, Iowa, as Smith hurries him. And out of the corner, won't go down. They got the shot they wanted, running the ball up the court for the high percentage three. Look at Tom Davis. He wants the offensive foul. Al Barnes missing out of the corner. Now Baker works it up the road for Ohio State. Jet back in for the Buckeyes. If you're Ohio State, you want a little spurt now, so maybe you go in halftime down four or five. Right now you play a little mini game. Carter takes it to the boards. They're giving Jackson a little bit of rest right now. That's the guy you got to get involved with offensively, Carter. There's a turnover against the pressure. That's Three. the second time that Street has turned the ball over on the inbound pass. See, if you go inside the Carter, either he can score or reverse the ball back out for the open shot, the inside-outside attack. Seton Hall by Alma Mater. We're proud of you, P.J. Carlissimo. Wins by 12 over the Hoyers. You still think Georgetown is in the NCAA? Huh? Lock City. If they would have lost the first game against Connecticut, they would not have been in, but they are locked. foul now. on A.C. Earl as Brown takes it to the hoop. And they should be in. They're certainly one of the better 64 teams in America. 
Third on Buckeyes Eastern. have been living uh, and walking hand in hand with Lady Fate for quite some time, as these scores will indicate from the season past. Look at Mississippi State by a deuce. The number one seed from the SEC gets beaten in the first round. They look at Michigan State, and then ultimately the slip came when they met Gene Cady's team in Purdue, who has done an amazing job. If you define coaching, Keith, as the ability to get the most out of people, Gene Cady does it. I'm rather of the opinion that Georgetown is in and uh, some of the other teams that Purdue ought to be in. Yeah, Purdue should be in. Eastern Michigan's got a tremendous chance to surprise some people. Outstanding guard Lorenzo Neely and Ben Braun's done a heck of a job with the Eurons. You're talking about the close games that Ohio State's had. How about Iowa? Six Iowa games have been decided on the final shot in the game. And it's their 3-3 in those games. Jordan and Dominique hooked up their blowout city for the Bulls. There's a foul on Craig Lee. Craig Lee doing a little talking. Watch out for the technical. They had a big win here over Temple, UCLA, beat Indiana on a tip by James Moses. That's their biggest win. And then they had two over Michigan State, but they beat a very good Creighton team as well. That Indiana game was at Indiana. That's cool. Skinner will go to the line off Craig Lee's foul. 36-30, Iowa leads. 2.58 to play in the first half. The pace of the game has slowed a little bit over the last five minutes. Hey, Keith, that Maybe that's because Rodell Davis has been out. He's back. Yeah, he's been really the star. But you know what? That game, Iowa and Indiana, it forced Bobby Knight and his staff. They were in there until about 2, 3 in the morning after the game, running every possible play. Norm Ellenberger told me, he said, I played every role of every Iowa player, and Bobby didn't get in until about 5 in the morning. That loss really bothered him. Ed Hightower with a call down in the corner, and... Uh, Buckeye down on the floor. He's got a contact problem. Missouri up five on Nebraska. Great year for Danny Nee. Missouri could win that league. They're looking at a contact. Jamal but Brown found it. Believe me, I wear those, so I know what these can do to you. Robin Walden the other day lost one on the fairway. See, it's not going to go in. He's got to look up. He's got to look up. I know I've got experience doing that. He's got to look up to the sky, and you got to open that eye. My doctor taught me how to do it, Keith the contact lenses I gotta go out there and help them out it takes takes me 12 minutes to put one in you wear contacts sometimes I didn't know you wore contacts okay. I learned something today now I wear now come on now now look up go ahead get the Celine solution out get the Celine now he's looking down so you gotta look up you gotta look up it'll go in a lot easier <laughs> come on look up look up no it's not gonna go in see it's not going in he's not looking up that's it now look up See, it'll go in if you look up. Thank you. Thank you. I did my best. Let me get the Telestrator and teach him how to do it with the Telestrator. <laughs> the Optometric Association will probably want you to do play-by-play -play for their next convention. <laughs> they pay well. <laughs> probably worth at least 10. Uh, Billy Packer makes all that stuff on the side. I got to go do so. 38-30. <laughs> As Brown, now that he can see, will go to the line. I'll tell you, I shot free throws at that side. I'll tell you, Keith, I came over and told you I was having a tough time shooting because of the glare from yeah. up above. Jamal's been really quiet. I think he's too good a player not to try and get a little more aggressively offensively. Skinner cuts it off as the rebound comes outside. Last week he made that big free throw to beat Michigan State. Whoa! Look out. Whoa, Nelly. We got a turnover, Nelly. Almost got Rodell Davis in our lap. They're getting really sloppy now. Offensively, the passes are being telegraphed. Is that a hustle of Chris Gent? They get a foul on him. Jay Webb is in the lineup. 42 for Iowa. Davis to the line. Winners 23 is in. Skinner is outside. Moses 24 for the Hawkeyes. And now for Ohio State, Brown, Carter, Lee, Gent, and Jackson is back. He's got his T-shirt on backwards. Maybe that's why he's missing. It's too tight around the neck. Look at that. The T-shirt's on backwards. Greg <laughs> Lee. That's what happens when you go four hours from Chicago to here about late, late last night. Jackson. 
Lines it up softly and it drops through. Jackson came out real strong early in the game. There's a foul on Jackson reaching in. And they'll give it to Lee. He's Could've second. Could have called it on Jimmy too. Yep. We've had several instances where they've tried the trap where both men have fouled. Sort of a you pick them. I'll tell you what, when I pick my All-American team, he's one of my five. Jimmy Jackson along with Anderson and Jackson and talking about just Sha Shaquille O'Neal, Larry Johnson, and Billy Owens. What a year he's had. I saw one, the one publication picked three All-American teams this past week that didn't include uh, Stacey Augman on either team. Wow, you can't have three teams. Stacey's my sixth man. I'll tell you what, I was talking to some NBA people yesterday, and they said if you look at the draft now and forget about class, Shaquille would be number one, and number two or three, it would probably be either Billy Owens or Larry Johnson, depending on what you wanted, and then right after that, you're talking the likes of Kenny Anderson, and you could possibly talk Stacey Augman. I mean, he can get in there with some of those people, and Doug Smith can be right up there as well. I like Smith. I think he's a... Yeah, I think Smith could be a heck of a tough guy. Good sharp pass across court. But they, keep, they don't get anything out of it. Now they go inside the Carter, and Carter loses the ball as Webb kicks it out of bounds. They had it going for a moment, but then brought it back outside, and that took care of it. Alex Davis is in for Ohio State. Across the line. Steve Smith also could be in that group as well in the top seven players out of Michigan State. So I would really love Steven. Kent trapped in the corner, clears it for Davis. And they use that bounce pass as well. Davis can provide some offense up on top. Was really an outstanding scorer late last season for him, especially in that big win over Providence in the NCAA. Brown gets the screen from Gent and pops it. That's, two. that's the shot I've been talking about the entire game, Keith. It's available to uh, Brown. He's got to look at the basket. Now 40 to 35. Iowa led by 14 at one point. It's now cut back to five by the Buckeyes, and it's defense that's done it. Yet yeah, they've played really tough defense here in a little mini run. When they were down 10, I said, if you ran the years, you'd like to get it within five, and he's in pretty good shape right now. Got to watch out for the five-second court. He's six feet away. little showtime right now with the rock by this little guy. Oh, look at this. Webb scores it. They got away with one right there. I liked Webb last year. I thought he was going to be a much more productive player this season. He's lost a lot of minutes. This is where you want the ball, right in his hands. Can't let him in the lane. Once he's in there, it's like uh, take it to the bank. Yeah, you can't allow him to get into the three-second area. Lead is five points again for Iowa, and exactly a minute to go in the first half. They need a real good possession right here. Going to use a lot of the shot clock. Ohio State will get the ball back. Six feet away, they start to count. Ooh, almost had a turnover. Got it. He's excited, but he can make you lose your hair if you're a coach. I mean, he's an exciting little player. Jackson out, muscle. Smith gets the ball, gives it to Carter. Carter dunks it, and when Jimmy gets the ball against the pressure at mid-court, he's either going to take it and score or make somebody else get a good shot. He's so effective against the pressure when he has the number game on his side. Myth burned a lot of energy the last two times down handling the ball. He just pops this one up and nails it. Hey, somebody better tell him he's a diaper dandy, that he's not a superstar. I say, Jackson, I could do anything you could do, and I could even do it better. Look at the little guy, Smith. Halftime, Iowa, 47. Ohio State, the number two team in the country, 39. ABC's College Basketball, brought to you by the Upjohn Company. If you're concerned about hair loss, see your doctor. And by Foot Locker, America's most complete athletic footwear store, where it all begins. We'll be back after these messages and a word from our ABC stations. Today, a guy losing his hair can choose between being the man he wants to be. We look great with hair. 
do something to save it. And the man he could become. Can't you accept nature like everyone else? Doctors have hair loss treatment programs that are proven to work. And the sooner you see a doctor, the better. We don't want nature. We want hair. When you've considered the arguments... We might look great, bald. And you decide you want oh. hair. There's only one thing to do. See your doctor. Or call this number for more information. Flying from the top of the key is easy. It's the landings that kill your feet. That's why I fly with the pump from Reebok. When I pump up, my size 13s get support, protection, and a custom fit. So, Michael, my man, if you want to fly first class, pump up and air out. Switch to the greatest sports performance shoe in the world, the Reebok pump. Pump up and air out. For years, you've depended on State Farm to insure your car. But did you know you can also depend on us to protect your family's future? State Farm. We sell life insurance. For years, you've depended on State Farm to insure your home. But did you know you can also depend on us to provide financial security for those you love? State Farm. We sell life insurance. Sunday. I don't care about your stupid car. It's you. I didn't know that. Of course, I would have to be in a coma not to notice. Becca and Tyler admit their true feelings while Corky finds love. Are you asking me out on a date? Life goes on. Then. The next all-new America's Funniest Home Videos is so spontaneously, hysterically, unequivocally funny, it'll bring a laugh to your mouth. Sunday. And meet millions of twisted individuals on an all-new America's Funniest People Sunday. Mackey's Home Furnishings is bursting with values during their spectacular spring value pack sale. Right now, Mackey's has fantastic sale prices on Strata Lounger, and famous lane recliners are now at unbelievable sale prices never before offered. And of course, free delivery within 125 miles. Mackey's is bursting with spring values on sectionals, sofas, sleepers, love seats, rockers, and more. The store with the reputation for Best values, Mackey's Home Furnishings, Rochester. Don't be misled. When it comes to diesel service for your farm equipment or diesel pickup, only Injection Technology has factory authorized technicians to service all these companies. Others may only be authorized to service one company. Injection Technology is the only shop in the area to make the commitment in equipment and training to give you quality diesel service with fast turnaround. We even offer exchange injection pumps and turbos on popular models. With over 30 years combined experience, you can trust Injection Technology. Highway 65 North, Northwood, Iowa. Dave Sinekin on The Weekend Report. The L.A. Gear College Basketball Report. Brought to you by Catapult. With the anti-fatigue rebound mechanism that you can actually feel from L.A. Gear. Now from our studio in New York, here's John Saunders. Hello and welcome back to ABC's College Basketball. You know, this time of year, all the college world is reaching for basketball glory. But in at least one case, glory has also led to disappointment. Beth Ruyak explains. At Hamilton College in upstate New York, a basketball player is treated the same as a member of the choir, the same as a writer for the school paper. No student ever comes to Hamilton College just to play basketball. The tuition here is over $20,000 a year, and the average SAT score is over 1,200. But the coach admits this year's team did provide a challenge to the Hamilton philosophy. The Continentals were 26-0 until this final game against Potsdam State. At the buzzer, they were a few points shy of keeping that perfect record, yet still at the top of Division III polls. But the team has been denied a chance at a national championship because of this 1971 rule in its New England Small College Athletic Conference. Tournaments must be completed within eight days of the end of the conference schedule. And th this was a hard one to swallow because we really, our kids, it's not hard for me, but I felt bad for our kids because they really felt, if given the opportunity, they had a legitimate shot at winning it all. You know coming in as a freshman that you're not going to be able to go to the tournament, but when you come in, you really don't think about it a whole lot. It hurts inside because we, you know, we've we played so well over the year, and it's it's hard to tell whether we would we'd be able to compete with the best in the in the country. Murphy has coached here 20 years and accepted the rule, but he now believes the team should be able to play on if the tournament doesn't interfere with the academic schedule. Well, the institution ought to be able to make that decision by themselves. I don't think they should hide behind a conference rule. We would want to avoid it at all costs, 
increasing the importance of athletics so that it would intrude in any way on, on the academic side of college life. I think most of the athletic directors would like to see the teams go on. However, the athletic directors don't make the rules in the conference. The presidents of the university, and actually that's what I think is healthy about the conference, is the presidents are running the conference. Even so, in January, the ADs appealed to the presidents to change the rule, but... They decided to, to keep the rule as it was for at least another three or four years, so, uh, you know, it's going to be at least another three or four years before any teams from our conference uh, play for a national championship. This has been the L.A. Gear College Basketball Report, brought to you by Catapult, with the anti-fatigue rebound mechanism that you can actually feel from L.A. Gear. this morning while the rest of the world is getting up UPS is guaranteeing overnight delivery before 1030 to the most people places and businesses for far less than other companies charge and every business morning more people are waking up to that fact good morning good morning We don't make the house, we make it warmer. We don't make the suit, we make it racier. We don't make the meal, we make it healthier. We don't make the music, we make it clearer. At BASF, we don't make a lot of the products you buy. We make a lot of the products you buy better. BASF, the spirit of innovation. Attention! The people of Delta would like to recognize the sacrifice made by our armed forces and their families. We do have a special military affair. Now, with our welcome home fairs, active military personnel and their eligible family dependents can travel the USA for 70% less. Albuquerque, New Mexico? Is that your hometown? That's right, ma'am. I'm going home. Delta, we love to fly and it shows. This is the ABC Sports Weather Report for Saturday, March 16th. The day will begin with a high-pressure system at the Long Island Open. Then ABC's wide world of sports will cool things off with a journey into Alaska. It's the dramatic conclusion of the Iditarod Trail Sled Dog Race. But the heat's back on with a trip to Cancun, Mexico for more from the Jeep Superstars. Plus, the road to the Kentucky Derby begins with the Florida Derby, presented by John Deere Lawn Care Dealers. The forecast is clear. Stay with ABC Sports Saturday. Welcome back again to New York. I'm John Saunders. The game you're watching in the Big Ten, the Ohio State Buckeyes could be costing themselves a top seed if they lose this game. They're down eight at halftime. Indiana could share the Big Ten title if Ohio State loses that game. They won this one 70 to 58. Eric Anderson had 20 points in the game. In the Big Eight, Missouri is up. They can't go to the NCAA tournament. They lead Nebraska in the second half by five. Doug Smith already at 19. In the Big East, Georgetown loses for the first time in a Big East final. Seton Hall wins their first ever championship game. Oliver Taylor, the MVP. Mid-American Conference, Toledo, a loser to the top seed, Eastern Michigan. They're in the field of 64. Time now for this week's edition of the Foot Locker Slam Fest, the championship later. But right now, a recap of the competition. The competition leading to the finals of this year's Foot Locker Slam Fest has been the best ever. Above 
and below the rim. was not without surprises. Two-time champion Mike Conley was upset in the quarterfinals, and the defending champion Mike Powell lost in the semi. Instead of meeting in the finals, the two Mikes met on the bench. I'm a competitor, and um, I can't be hyped about losing, and um, I'm kind of shocked that I missed that dunk, but hey, he made a great dunk. The he everyone's talking about is Delino DeShields, the Montreal Expos' second baseman who's made it to the finals. People really don't know me as a basketball player. They just know I play baseball, but I was actually a basketball player first, and uh, I take pride in dunking the ball. The other finalist is Eric McMillan of the New York Jets. Practice has made him near perfect. He registered two 9.9s en route to the championship. I just basically came in here more relaxed than I did last year, and uh, I did rehearse uh, a, little, a little bit sooner than I did in the previous year. Later today, the Shield versus McMillan for the Foot Locker Slam Fest Championship. ABC's college basketball returns in just a moment after these messages and a word from our ABC station. The rod and roll. Behold the Sherman Shuffle. The Buck and Wing. Nike. Good luck. Take a lesson. Tango. Nike. At Foot Locker, where it all begins. Attention! Company! Look at this! The people of Delta would like to recognize the sacrifice made by our armed forces and their families. We do have a special military affairs. Now, with our welcome home fairs, active military personnel and their eligible family dependents can travel to USA for 70% less. Albuquerque, New Mexico? Is that your hometown? That's right, ma'am. I'm going home. Delta, we love to fly and it shows. Today, we are celebrating a commitment by you, Paul, and you, Victoria, to spend the rest of your lives together. Your Unlike certain other of life's commitments, John Deere will give you 30 days to back out. If within 30 days, you're not completely satisfied with your John Deere mower, We'll give you your money back. Because in a matter as important as a lawnmower, you deserve to be happy. So long as you both shall live. Premiering Tuesday. I'll give you three and a half in time served. No way. Two years tops. Three. Two and a half. Three or no deal. Done. You know something's wrong and you still want to try this case? You said you took on the cases nobody else wanted. How the hell are we supposed to win a case without witnesses? Bail denied. Oh, Your Honor. We got a big problem here. Treat Williams. You mean you're a real lawyer? Surprise. Tuesday, the premiere of Eddie Dodd. I, I just don't want to... I want to make a difference in the world and in everything I do. The quality of my job at IBM directly influences people in all walks of life. You get some sense of pride and accomplishment that uh, the things you do are out there making a difference but it's also a lot of responsibility. I have to always keep perspective on what I'm doing and what the effects of what I'm doing are. If you enjoy yourself and you believe in what you're doing, that comes through in what you create. It's a value system. It's what your priorities are all about. From its beginning, IBM has been a company built on quality and service to our customers. That's why we're proud that the IBM team in Rochester, Minnesota has received the 1990 Malcolm Baldrige National Quality Award. Quality is a way of life at IBM. K-A-A-L ABC's College Basketball Brought to you by Ford Motor Company
and by UPS. Now offering 10.30 a.m. guaranteed overnight delivery. We're at halftime, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Campus University of Iowa, and the home team leads number two, 47 to 39. But Ohio State has been living on the edge, as we said earlier, for quite some time. Here are some video moments to make the point, like against Wisconsin, for example, where Baker finally goes one-on-one -on -one in the paint to score the winning basket. And the memorable double overtime win over Indiana, where it was Craig Lee from off the baseline with a little short jumper and a 97-95 win. On the road, they won at Illinois by nine, came home against Minnesota to win by one in a controversial ending that got Minnesota coach Ben Haston reprimanded by the conference office. And then against Michigan State, you had the controversial foul there by Steve Smith, and Jamal Brown goes to the line, and the ball rattles around on misses the first one. The second one rolls around and drops in for a one-point win. Now, today, they've got to hitch up their britches and uh, get busy because they have not played well in the first half. Well, both clubs have shot fairly well, Keith, but you look right here, rebound totals, Iowa out rebounding uh, 20 to 16. Another big factor right here is we look at the turnovers. Ohio State's turned the ball over 11 times versus only six for Iowa. That's why they have jumped out. But they've had some positive performances off the bench, Iowa, from the little guy, Kevin Smith, and also the big guy, A.C. Earl. On the other side, as you and I were talking during the break, Mark Baker is 0 for 2, has not done anything in terms of his ability level, and Treg Lee is 1 for 3. I think those two guys have to step up. Jimmy Jackson has been a star. He's 6 for 8, one for one from the free throw line with 13 points. In the closing five minutes, of that first half, Iowa lost momentum, Ohio State gained it. They really did. Only thing that saved Iowa, I really thought, was the fact of Smith making those big jump shots. First possession, Ohio State. They've got Brown and Baker, Jackson, Carter, and Lee on the court. Inside to Lee. Against winners, got it. Good decision by Ohio State. Trying to get Lee involved offensively. Good ball reversal and getting the ball to him down within the box. Davis had a huge first half, and the Buckeyes knock it out of his hands and get away with it cleanly as Brown hustles down and rims it out. And the ball skitters into the hands of Street. You've got Street, Skinner, Davis, Winters, and Moses, who just missed out of the corner. And Davis, he's still going. Rodell Davis, excellent offensive rebounder. Moses has really been on fire in his last few games, but today not really shooting as well as he did against Illinois and also against Northwestern at 30 and 29. Davis has 12 points now. Only two players in double figures, Jackson of Ohio State and Davis of Iowa. His own defense slows down the tempo of the game. Carter can't get it to drop. Ohio State trying to establish an inside game here early in the second half. These five minutes are really big right now in terms of a confidence factor for Iowa. Can they maintain that lead? Great the freshman being checked out in front by Harry Carter. And a man defense. Nice move. Off the baseline, he's short with his shot. He'll get another one. Missed that one too. And it's knocked out by the Buckeye. Excellent move by Street along the baseline. Good head fake. Tom Davis cheering on that sideline. Winners out and Earl in for Iowa. That's Earl. He had eight big points in the first half. Came off the bench for eight big points. Had two block shots. Long pass to the corner for Jimmy Jackson, who drops it to Carter, who scores it. What a great pass by Jimmy Jackson. He gets into that lane, draws people to him, and dumps it off with the left hand. Moses inside Earl. Oh, nice play. Nice play, King. Nice pass by A.C. Earl. He's got the strut, too. Look at him. Long pass down court. Jackson runs it down. Scores it. Jimmy Jackson really playing like an All-American today. 
Eight-point lead, Iowa. There's the post guy against the pressure. It's one of the three outlets you like to establish. Diagonal man, reverse man, and post man. Davis against Baker. Putting out the court, going to try to slide Earl to the box. Defensive move by Carter, knocks the ball out of bounds. Good anticipation. Look at this right here, Carolina up 16 on Duke. They were also up yesterday, 16 on Virginia, and Virginia caught them. That was a big question. If Carolina maintains that lead, who is number one in the East? Could they slide Indiana, Indiana. possibly there? Yeah. Or would Carolina get the number one seed in the East? They lost twice to Duke during the regular season. I know one thing, Lute Olsen would love to see Indiana move over to the East. That means that he might get a chance at the Midwest. Arizona. Field the ball. Moses doesn't get it. And the Buckeyes dodge a bullet. Now watch the play right here. He'll make a good decision. Usually does. That's a great decision. Can't get better than that. 53-47, six-point lead. Iowa. They're really not containing Jimmy Jackson. He's really starting to take control here in the second half. So he's playing Skinner, so he really doesn't have much of a threat. Skinner's got to look at the basket a little bit. He's a pretty good shooter. He's got to make Jackson at least be aware of him on the floor. Earl. Doesn't get a bounce. Street had it for a moment. Jackson takes it on the move. Oh, what a great play. Carter has it knocked out of his hands with a foul. Carter hesitates with the ball, had the open layup. Coming up, ABC's college basketball continues as Alabama meets the stunning, startling Tennessee Volunteers in the SEC Tournament Finals. Amazing. Stunning, startling. I like and that. the Arkansas Razorbacks against the Texas Longhorns for some of you in the Southwest Conference Championship. I tell you, you talk about David and Goliath. What a great story. Here's a team, Tennessee. It shows you what happens at postseason time. They've won three in a row. You ready for this? They have 21 losses, but what a special player. If you want to see a marquee player who's unknown, you watch Allen Houston. Is he going to be an NBA star? He plays for his daddy, Wade Houston, down at Tennessee. 53-47 with 16-17 to play in the ball game. The lead belongs to Iowa. Carter on the line. Got the second one. Guys, keep hustling. Barnes, who's coming off a sore ankle, brings it up. Here's a guy that Iowa may very well have to use a lot, and that's young Smith, who sets up the play for Earl. Hey, Smith really setting the table. In his second well. pass. Look at that pass. Yeah. Back, and there's a foul on Treg Lee. Hey, the little guy Smith, is he playing like a star? Oh. He's a freshman from Trimble Tech in Fort Worth. He's got Mr. Excitement. Look, he's blinking at us. He's, uh, he wants to know if the cameras have been on him. Oh, Kevin Smith. Now watch this. There's a little steal. Now watch a little hang time. A little dump off. And there's the foul on Winters. That's three fouls on Craig Lee as Winters. James makes the first one. He is a uh, he's a freshman out of Joliet. Central High School there. He's what we call a banger, a crasher on the glass. I'll tell you, the little guy, Smith, has really Got kept things exciting. He's been the one guy that's been a real enigma right now in the minds of Ohio State because they're ready to put a run on Iowa, and he just stops it. Yep. He's done it twice in the game. Look at him get by Baker there. Good pass off into the corner. Good whip underneath to Davis. That's high percentage basketball, unselfish basketball. Jamie Skelton takes it in. Left out of there by AC Early. He needs one more. See, but he's got to learn to keep the ball in play. He's tied the Big Ten record. He needs one more to break it. I've been working for Calumet Farm, soon be 49 years. I've worked for some famous horses. What gives a certain group of people the ability to consistently do the impossible? Take Calumet Farm. No other farm has ever dominated horse racing like Calumet. 
squirrel away, a citation, Aladar. It would take a winner's circle as big as Kentucky to do justice to this amazing stable. When excellence becomes a tradition, there's no end to the greatness. And it doesn't happen only in horse racing. In the auto industry, Ford Motor Company has continually been a leader in innovation. And there's much more to come. Our new modular V8 represents a dramatic improvement in both efficiency and performance. And our new Crown Victoria and Grand Marquis are redefining the concept of luxury ride and handling. America fell in love with Ford in the 80s. And smart money will tell you, we're going to be even tougher to beat in the 90s. Ford Motor Company. Everything else is just hot air. You love the original. Now, from the same people that brought you the NFL, it's the World League of American Football. Coming to a TV near you this March. There's your score with the number on the right being the time remaining in the ball game. Hey, do you think the Hoosiers is to look at a 13-point lead by Carolina over Duke? Do you think the Hoosiers are cheering right now for the Hawkeyes? There's the little guy. He's been a star, Kevin Smith. He is, he's, he's turned the tide twice in this game so far. Well, he gave us the look, winked at us, wanted to know if we had the cameras on. Well, Iowa scoring off the bench has been prolific all season long. Today, it's a 23-8 to edge. Where's that Ohio State? Where's that 3 2 zone? 1 2 2, some call it. Thomas used that all through his career at Lafayette, Boston College. Jet for three. Wide open. And they're daring Kiss to shoot. It's wide open. He's a good shooter, though. He can put points on a board. Here comes Kevin Smith. Remember the name. Yeah, he's going to be a special player. Once he gets a little more control, he was. AC Earl gets away with a push off. And inside, there's a foul. AC brought the ball down. A lot of big guys like to do that, and they, what they do is they reduce their size. They become really a 5'10 player as opposed to being a 6'11 player. Jimmy Jackson could play on my team any day of the week, number 22. That's his first person, Jackson. And Earl will go to the line for two. Not a bad day off the bench, 12 points, five rebounds. He's got three block shots. If he ever learns to play the game, though, he's going to be a sight. Yeah, he's really got a lot more potential. And once he gets a little bit stronger physically, matures a little bit, he can be really a big-time player, averaging 16 points a game. I'm jealous of his hairstyle. I wish I had that much hair. <laughs> Think how much trouble it is to take care of it. All you have to do is rub. <laughs> It still cost me seven par to get it cut down and bring to bring back the crew cut. Jackson for three. He's out 20 points. He's having a phenomenal game. The thing that amazes me with Jackson, he never takes any bad shots. He's really not a hungry kid. He's a very special kid in that he's so unselfish. Six-point lead, Iowa, 60-54. Carter tried for the steal, didn't get it. Earl. Look at AC Earl doing a little dance, a little shake and bake with yeah. the dribble move. Every time Ohio State makes that run at him, they seem to come up with a big basket, whether it's Earl or whether it's Smith. Skinner is back in now, replacing Smith. The lead is 62-54 as Lee travels. See, they rotated into a special defense. They got Val Barnes now playing man-to-man, -man, and Randy Ayers has got to figure a way to attack it now. Barnes is playing man-to-man -man on Jackson, and the other four are zoning. We'll get that in the next possession, see if they keep that. Two to one on a turnover ratio. Ohio State, 14 turnovers. Skinner, a junior. The settling effect on the ball club, they hope, now that they've built the lead back to eight. Earl against Carter. Now 
try to slide Earl inside. He could have kept going that time if he'd have wanted to. Falls down and dribbles it out of bounds. Yeah, he has to work on a little bit more of big man moves inside. Let's hope he's not hurt. Comes up hobbling. See, here he is catching the ball in a post. He's got to work a little bit more on his post moves. Loses control. I think we'll see him back on the floor. All right, Buckeyes, we'll play it in. <laughs> and Mark Baker <laughs> brings the ball up. 62-54, Iowa still hanging on to the lead. Let's see right now what they're doing defensively. Man-to-man <laughs> right, -man out here. Chris Gent wouldn't go for him. Treg Lee is fouled. Got a foul on Street. I like Street, though. He's uh, he probably got to get a little bolder, a little more aggressive inside. But a little bit more consistent shooting the jump shot, but he's going to be a special player. He's got good instincts for the game. Runs the court well. Jay Webb replaces him now in the lineup for the Hawkeyes. Pass comes inbounds. From Gent to Lee to Gent. Skinner now all over with Jackson. Let's see if he stays with them. Yeah, he's chasing Jackson. Ball stolen by Winter. This man a special gimmick defense on Jimmy Jackson to try and control and contain him. Dr. To Tom Davis with the call. Trying to use some time on the clock. Always trying to slide people across horizontally in the box. They're trying to post the little guy, Val Barnes. He's in there against Gent. Yeah, he wants the ball down in the box. Skinner picking up that dribble. He get in trouble. Five seconds. No, they get a foul on Baker. Little too aggressive. Tonight, Michelle Pfeiffer is a bride with a real family problem. Mobster missus, he's dead, she's married to the mob. Alec Baldwin, Dean Stockwell co-starring in the network premiere of Married to the Mob tonight at 9, 8 Central on ABC. Michelle's one of my real favorites. I really like her, Keith. Bo Derrick's 10, she's a 15. <laughs> I have no comment on that. <laughs> I'm right behind me. Uh -oh. <laughs> Ohio State's got to get some adrenaline. They got to get some enthusiasm, some spirit. They got to realize that they're really playing right now for a Big Ten championship. I know they got the automatic berth, but they got a chance. This Paul Brazo, the assistant coach, very calm. Got to get some real fire in their eyes. Randy is trying to establish that fire. He's such a poised guy. Earl is back in, and Winters out. And as Winters goes out. He shouts literally at Earl to get in there and, and make some waves. Short. Davis, short. There's Princeton right now, up 18 on Loyola Marymount. You're talking about different tempo. Princeton, what an unbelievable, unbelievable year. Missouri's still up three, and as I said earlier, I don't think Missouri should be playing in this postseason. You're on probation. I don't think teams that are on probation should be part of a chance to get the automatic perk, even though naturally we know they don't get it. But the winner in that league gets an automatic perk for the NCAA tournament. The probation teams should not be part of it. Davis missed. Both this free throw. Brown has it halfway down and he comes out. Moses rebounds and Iowa back to control. Iowa's got three things they're playing for today. 20 game win season, finishing a first division of the Big Ten, and lock up the NCAA bird. Bounce pass ricochets to Moses and he can't get it. AC Earl is inside and you got a foul. They grabbed AC's arm. Harry Carter with that big body, one of the better rebounders in all of basketball. Definitely a candidate for my old Windex team I'll pick next week. Best class eaters. Got three personal fouls now. 
He's really been quiet. He really has been quiet in this game. 11.36 to play, and it's Iowa by eight. Rules of the game brought to you by State Farm Insurance. Here's former NCAA champion coach Joe B. Hall. The women's game and the men's game. Not much is different when it comes to overall strategy, but there are four major rule differences. Most people know State Farm sells car and homeowners insurance. Some people don't know State Farm sells life insurance too. I'm State Farm agent Cecil Burt. Our life insurance policies, our prices, and our financial ability to deliver on our promises, plus the good neighbor service State Farm agents are famous for, have made State Farm one of the largest of all life insurance companies and an outstanding life insurance value. State Farm sells life insurance. Four differences between the women's game and the men's. First, the women's shot clock is only 30 seconds. Second, there is no 10 second backcourt violation. Third, a woman player cannot score a basket after an offensive charging call. And fourth, the ball is slightly lighter in weight and smaller. Today's Rules of the Game has been brought to you by State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. I used to have dandruff, so I tried Head & Shoulders. Then I tried Selsun Blue. Blue is better. Selsun Blue relieves dandruff flecking better than Head & Shoulders. And doctors recommend it more than Head & Shoulders, Danorex, and Tegrin. Blue is better. Selsun Blue. It's the dramatic finish of the Iditarod, plus more of the Jeep superstars and the Florida Derby presented by John Deere, all Saturday on ABC's Wide World of Sports. We're going to take a look right now. Jimmy Jackson right here is being played man-to-man. -man. See, right here, he will stay with him at all times. He will play him on the floor everywhere he goes. Skinner's playing a man-to-man -man while the other people are playing the zone. See, right here. Now watch, when he releases the ball, he stays up on top. And the other people play a zone defensively. Actually, it's a triangle and two. They're playing Chris Jen also man-to-man. -man. See, right there, gimmick defense. They went to a triangle and two. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Inside Webb that doesn't get it. Gets it back. Kevin Smith checks back into the ball game. Number 10, the little guy, the quick one for Iowa. Earl is out there. Moses is out there. And so is Val Barnes. Moses can't get a roll today. He's had a tough day. That's a good in hustle. That's a tough shot right there for Moses. Really a bad angle on that shot. Smith is all over the place. But a bad pass. He tried to force it in. Jackson it comes away with it, and Jamal Brown scores it. A great pass by Jimmy Jackson. Could also give it to the trailer, Jamal. Back to Jackson. Now Smith sets his jaw a little bit after that last pass. Got his pocket picked. 62-56, six-point lead, Iowa. So the one thing you have to be careful with Smith, he tries to be a little too spectacular. Yep. Ball will only go through a certain size hole. Webb's got to slide inside against Jet down in the box. He's a power player. There's a nice pass along the baseline, but it is uh, knocked out by Ohio State. See, Kevin's trying to always make that high, spectacular play, and he goes to the sideline. He comes out of the ball game, and Skinner is back. Oh, I think these teams are locks. I really do. This, my feeling is this certainly isn't the picks right now, but I think they're a lock. I think Purdue beating Ohio State, finishing strong, will join these four and be part of the big dance representing the Big Ten. Skinner. There no, won't go inside over the back. Called on Jackson. Eddie Hightower says, it's on you, Jimmy. Jimmy says, okay. And he taps him on his shoulder. Andy Ayers, who played in Mid-American Conference, was an outstanding player at Miami of Ohio, served as an assistant for years, and was going to join Gary Williams at Maryland as an assistant if he didn't get the job. Now, fouls may become a factor. 10-21 to play. Ohio State has four people with three persons. Lee, Baker, Carter, Jackson. Bill Robinson get four. Gets called for the hook for grabbing him. Add him to the list with three personal. The 
with this. Missouri up two on Nebraska. Doug Smith, Rich King for Nebraska. Doug Smith, outstanding player for Missouri. I still think the best player in that league has been Byron Houston from out of Oklahoma State. He and Smith put on quite a show. They went head-to-head -head like two heavyweights yesterday. <laughs> Craig Lee just got his fourth personal foul. Craig Lee has not played today like the Craig Lee who's been performing all year. Crowd loves it down here. Carver Hawkeye Arena. I get so impressed with the way Randy Ayers maintains his self-control. I'd be going bananas, ripping my jacket off, screaming, going crazy. I was all wacko on that sideline, Keith. <laughs> well, I remember. Look how control this guy is. You abuse more coaches' boxes than anybody I know. <laughs> Three makes the first one. Free throw line becomes big now as we get into the latter stages. We get into that second half. Carter has to replace Lee. That's another factor to consider. Here comes Gent and Jackson back now. They've got a little respite. And whoever That'll makes Skelton out of the game, probably, and uh, it does, and Baker. And whoever converts the free throw rotates right up to the baseline to apply the pressure. Street makes the two free throws. Now he goes to the baseline, and he'll be the first guy against the double team. They're going to look to Jackson now. That's it. They bring the ball to Jackson against the pressure. Didn't get it that time. Street rebounds it for Iowa. Perfect execution, though. Bring the ball off the weak side. For the diagonal man, Al Barn, comes from Wichita, handling it. He's been really quiet. Yep, he has. He's capable of shooting the jumper. James Winters. Skinner now says to settle down, folks. Let's burn a little time. Inside, they got Davis. Good play by Rodell Davis. He is down very, very hard. He's hurt. Well, he's had a history of knee problems. He went right down on his back. Rod Rodell's had one heck of a day today. Averaging seven points a game, but what a big day today. Now there's the entry to Winters. Now to dump down to the box to Rodell Davis. There's that little slash move to the little box. They constantly run that horizontal cut across the lane. Fell on his back. Goes out of the ball game. Moses in. Ohio State gets to inbound it at midcourt. Ed Hightower called the timeout for the injured player. Well, really has been impressive by Iowa. Every time Ohio State makes a little run, they come up with a big basket. Craig Lee is back in for the Buckeyes. They need him. Zone defense right now. Straight zone. Not playing the matchup. Jumping inside. And Carter is fouled. And Mug is a better word. They got away from the gimmick defense where they were playing a triangle in two. It looked like earlier they were playing a box in one on Jimmy Jackson. Tom Davis uses multiple defenses. He'll do whatever it takes to win on that sideline. Good motivator. Always stresses the positive. Nine thirteen to play in the ball game. Sixty-six fifty-six. Iowa leading by ten. They lost the heartbreaker here to Wisconsin when the kid good hit a big jumper at the buzzer to beat him. That guy's really struggling. The look on the Perry Carter's face as he the ball rolls off the rim, frustrated. Mr. Both. He's really struggled today. Perry has absolutely not been Perry Carter. They're going to have to make some things happen defensively, maybe go to a little trap. AC Earl and Carter down inside. Trying to use some time, get some motion, and always sliding somebody to the box. Earl needs some help. I think he's got a little magic in him. He wants to play with the basketball and play like a perimeter player. Barnes. Skinner takes it in. The ball comes loose. That's not a shot. That was deflected. Three seconds. And the Buckeyes come out with it. 
and you got a foul on Winter. Sloppy possession right there. Not the kind of high percent shot they wanted out of your offensive half court game. You know, you look at Iowa and you think of Tom Davis's club. His three scorers are Earl, Barnes, and Moses. And right now in this game, Moses and Barnes really have not scored. Right. Against the kind of defense and the quickness of Ohio State, though, Smith is a very important personality for Iowa, and, and he just checked back in. Yeah, he's a catalyst. I mean, he can make things happen. He likes the basketball in his hands. He loves to beat people with penetration. Davis is also back. Buckeyes get it into front court. Ohio State doing a good job attacking the pressure, bringing the ball across and not getting the numbers. And remember this, when you have a shot blocker back there, that adds another dimension to the press. Jamal Brown handling out on top now, trailing by 10. Chris Gent for three. Doesn't go, rebound, Little Smith. Well, here it goes, little showtime. Joseph, no, tip no by Earl. Rebound out of there to Craig Lee. That was a tough miss right there by Moses. Chris Jett doesn't get it. He'll do it again. Comes out. I mean, is this kid hustling and scrapping Chris Jett? How could you not like him? Red ball. Oh, Eric yeah. Hartley. Oh! People here in Hawkeye don't like it. Hawkeye line. Right in front of the Ohio State bench. Eric Harmon says red ball. Time out. Ten-point lead, Iowa. Back after this message and the word from our local ABC station. Subway's cold cut combo. It starts with the foundation of the freshest bread anywhere. Baked every four hours in every Subway store. Then cheese, three kinds of meat, and whichever of our nine tasty fixings you choose. Total construction cost a buck 69. It's time to eat. Subway six inch cold cut combo. For a buck 69, we can build one for you. America's watching ABC. Mackey's Home Furnishings, Rochester's family-owned and family-operated furniture store, is pleased to offer the craftsmanship you've been searching for in solid oak, cherry, and hard rock maple dining room, bedroom, and living room furniture. During this sale, Mackey's welcome you to browse through their store and discover the glowing beauty and solid value of famous names, Till City, American, Drew, Universal, No, and many more. Where the quality always exceeds the price, Mackey's Home Furnishings, Rochester. March Madness is here again, and TV6 will bring you all the excitement of the Minnesota State High School Basketball Tournament. First, it's the girls, March 14th through the 16th. Then the boys take the court, March 21st through the 23rd. State High School Basketball, right here on the sports leader, KAAL TV6. Sponsored by Northland Ford, American Dairy Association, Clement Chevrolet Cadillac Subaru, and Sandoz Crop Protection. Dave Sinekin on the Weekend Report. Ohio State trailing 66-56 at 7.39 to play. Inbound the ball, Jimmy Jackson, Craig Lee, Perry Carter, Jamal Brown, and Mark Baker on the floor. Ohio State hasn't been able to put on one of their typical spurts, an 8-1 run, a 10-1 run using their pressure defense and creating some transition layups. And you've got to credit that to Iowa. Iowa's had a real excellent game plan. They've done a great job getting back defensively, not allowing a lot of transition layups. Playing straight zone now. They try to match up a little out of it, but they're not playing head-to-head -head on Jackson. Uh, here Davis goes. made the play. Brown makes the play at the other end for Ohio State. That was a tremendous defensive play by Jamal Brown. I mean, he took away a sure jam, and his place would have really rocked him to give him momentum. Number 30, Jam. I'll tell you, Jamal Brown, that play might be the big play of the half. Could be. Inbound to A.C. Earl. Kevin Smith stays in there. Pass too high. Bad pass. Keith, instead of looking at a 12-point deficit now, Ohio State, because of the play by Brown, they get possession of the basketball. 
the touch. That's okay. That's okay, Kevin. You've done well. You're going to be special. I like it. You get a lot of playing time. So let's see now if they can come back with a score. Ten point lead's been up there a good long time, hasn't it? See, I think there's a tendency for Jimmy Jackson to be too unselfish. I think he's going to look a little bit more offensively to want to shoot the ball. Fumbled it. Gets it back. Score the basket. There. Score the oh, basket. It's yes. not a block. Good call. AC Earl says, no, don't let him get away with it because he's an all Rolls Royce. Said I timed that perfectly. Street says, I like that, AC. Now take a look, James Jackson. JJ takes it across the goal. That ball has got to be able to be blocked on its upward movement, not on its downward movement. I thought it was coming down. Skinner against Baker. Eight-point lead for the Hawkeyes. They haven't scored in a while either. This is a big possession right here. Ohio State needs a defensive stop, and Iowa needs a score. Jackson against Moses. Got to use some clock, play tempo. You don't want to play scared basketball, though. Just had a five-second count. They're trying to open up the floor. Little penetration, dribble penetration. Slide it to Earl. Skinner tries to get it to Street. And it's two points, Ohio State. And a foul. A foul by Davis. Oh, not a good play by Rodell Davis. He's got to get Smith back in the ball game. Yeah, he's going to bring him in. Ohio State now getting one of their runs we talked about. Now uh, there's Brown ahead of the pack. He's a tremendous high jumper. High jumped over 6'10 in high school. And there's no way that Davis has got to go up there to try and block that shot. Trying to cut that lead to five now. Having it in less than a minute. And they're going to rotate right into a full court trap. Brown will go to the point of it. Only a five point lead. Here comes Skelton back into the game for Ohio State. Skelton has enough quickness perhaps to deal with Kevin Smith. Well, he hit those two big threes against Indiana when he yes. needed a lot of help. They rotate Treg Lee at the baseline, the big guy. Street has trouble inbounding the ball. Finally does to Moses. You got a two on two. Moses all the way. I like that, Pete. Not being intimidated, trying to play cautiously. Attack the basket. James Moses goes the length of the court and attacks the basket. Great play. 68, 61. Coming up on five minutes to play in the game. A big basket by Moses. Ohio State ranked two in the country, looking for a top seed in the Midwest. And remember, Indiana won today, 15-3. and three. If Ohio State loses, co-champs. Inside pass to Carter. Earl got a piece of it. With his little quick guy. And there's a foul on Skelton. Skelton tries to get him from behind with that reach in. Well, we get to winning time, Mr. Jackson. There have been four unbelievable weeks. Look at this, Princeton, Peter Correll. Hey, trivia question. They're up 19. What other team? Other. Look at this beating. Carolina over Duke. What other teams undefeated in 91 other than UNLV? Princeton Tigers. They haven't lost in 1991. Last time they lost was back in uh, 1990. Peter Correll, what a coach. They lost to UNLV. Double the 69-61 as Smith, 5'11", 165 out of Fort Worth makes it. Yep. Yep. What do you need? Jimmy Jackson. Brown oh, is a foul, foul by Smith. Smith. There's the foul. Baker's back. Randy Year is really having a tough time controlling that little guy, Smith. You know, we talked about Princeton. I know they have two losses. They lost also to San Jose State. Lee playing with four fouls. Back in that zone defensively. Got to get into some gaps. See, Baker's got to use dribble penetration, drive it right at the zone. Jackson to the baseline. Baker got it. Mark two points. Mark Baker steps right into the gap. 
six-point lead for the Hawkeyes. See, here's where this little guy can get a little bit out of control. This is the part of the game he has to really work on, get a little bit more discipline to his half-court half game. James Winters back in the lineup for Iowa. A lot of speed going head-to-head -head here, Baker and Smith. Earl is not in there right now. they are got all the quick people out there. See, trying to use some clock, bringing Perry Carter away from the basket, inverting, bringing their big people to the perimeter. 4.15 to go in a ball game. Winners against Carter. Ball is knocked loose and stolen by the Buckeyes. It's Jackson against Smith. Mismatch. Jackson missed the shot. Rebound. Brown. Smith did a good job defensively to stay in front of Jackson. Jamal Brown with a good offensive rebound. The trail man. 69-65, four points at 350 to play in the game. And Ohio State coming on strong right now. They're coming on strong. Street stopped for no reason. He didn't need to stop. He could have gone right home to the basket, and he didn't do it. I would get a timeout. Look at this. Look at this. Clark Candy is spotting him 10. He says, we're going to give you a 10-point lead. That's the only way you can play those guys. know our assignment and go out and do it with some aggressiveness. Why is it that some people constantly manage to reach heights others can only dream of? A few towns in western Pennsylvania have produced more football legends than any other place. We play with boys and Dan Marino. We know at the end of this Johnny Unitas. George Blanda. What is it about these towns that gives birth to such greatness? Fierce pride, tradition, an obsession with excellence? The very things that drive us at Ford Motor Company. When leadership is in your blood, you push yourself to greater and greater heights. Our 1991 four-door Explorer and Escort have recorded the highest customer satisfaction ratings in our history. And starting right now, you'll be seeing more new models and exciting innovation from Ford and Lincoln Mercury than you've seen in years. America fell in love with Ford in the 80s, and we're going to be even tougher to beat in the 90s. Ford Motor Company. the finest natural ingredients, then brewed and aged with extra care for that clean, crisp, cold taste. The taste only Budweiser can deliver. The king of beers. The Crimson Tide of Alabama meets Tennessee for the SEC Tournament Championship or the title game in the Southwest Conference. Coming up as ABC's college basketball continues. In this game, Ohio State has never led. 69-65, 3.42 to go. Coming up next, check your listing. It'll be the Southwest Conference Championship game here on ABC Sports. Texas-Arkansas or the Southeastern Conference Championship game. Alabama trying to slow down the Tennessee team that has come out of nowhere. This crowd is trying to get this team to that W, trying to cheer on their hometown favorites. Ohio State on the move right now. 69-65, Iowa. See, here's where right now Jimmy Jackson usually likes to assert himself late in the game at winning time. Well, he's got the circumstance on this side of that zone. He's got Skinner. They got to reverse the ball to him. And Skinner matched up perfectly right in his face. He stays with him. Lee shoots and misses. The rebound goes to Rodell Davis. See, Jimmy Jackson has got to want the ball right now. Let's see if they spread or go into a... Skinner against Baker. A.C. Earl's a release man against the pressure. Steps out. He's got to get the ball out of his hand. Stolen by Carter. Just stripped it away from him. And he traveled. Carter traveled. Yep, Jody Sylvester with the call. A little walk-in music. Here comes Chris Chen. Good substitution. Hey, look at this. They're up 16-6. I told you, he spotted him 10. UNLV back up by one. <laughs> and probably a win by 30. <laughs> well, uh, Cal State Long Beach uh, tried that. Seth Arrington tried it the other night in the 49-29. It was something like that. 
They are pretty good. That's pretty good. They're great. I'll tell you one thing, Keith. This could be a big, big win for Iowa. He's playing with the ball. Five-second violation. He keeps playing with that ball. Moses finally gets free, and you got Jackson on Moses right here. Smith is in the lineup, and there's a foul, Jackson. Jackson calls for the block. Again, to set it right now, there are three basic goals that Iowa had coming into this game. One, a win, gets us to the 20-game win season. Number two, Tom Davis's philosophy is, if they get a win, they finish in the first division as it's four fouls on Jackson in the Big Ten, and they finish at 500 in the Big Ten. And number three, it applies the knockout punch. Question is, what does it do to Randy Ayers' club for a number one seed if they lose their last two games of the season? Well, I said that earlier. It, uh, it suggests to others out there that they can be happy. I also hate to suggest and be the Scrooge right now, but one of the reasons that they may lose that number one seed if they lose here would be the early seven wins over Cupcake Cities when you look at the Bethune Cookmans of those people versus what Indiana has beaten earlier this year. The crowd is up. Thundering. Baker quiets them. Nice play by Baker hanging. Brown against Skinner. 71 67. Just move inside. Two minutes to play in the game. Iowa really uses the big guy in the back to the perimeter as a screener to get the guy free. Skinner had an open and lane to the goal. Wide open. There wasn't a single person between him and the basket, and he had the defender on his hip, and he didn't take it. See, Al McGuire used to run this years ago. They're running like a clock move, getting a one-on-one -on -one situation. See how they clear out the side? Four guys on one side trying to get a one-on-one -on -one maneuver. That time, Craig Lee was in there in the way. Street. He's going to get called for a travel. The freshman, a little tight. See, A.C. Earl did not rotate out into the clock maneuver, and he really closed off the driving lane for Skinner. 128 to play in a ball game. Every business morning, while the rest of the world is getting up, UPS is guaranteeing overnight delivery before 10.30 to the most people, places, and businesses for far less than other companies charge. And every business morning, more people are waking up to that fact. Good morning. Good morning. All this paperwork, I can't get anything done. Introducing the new Tandy 1000 TL3 system, the complete home office solution at a special price of $15.99. With this high-speed computer, you get a color monitor, hard drive, mouse, and easier-to-use versions of popular software. Quicken for finance, Q&A write for word processing, load a spreadsheet, and 10 other deskmate programs. It's everything I need. The new Tandy 1000 TL3 system, just $15.99, only at Radio Shack, America's technology store. Iowa leading the number two team in the nation, Ohio State, by four with a minute and 28 seconds to play in the game. Ohio State has never led in this ball game. There are the other particulars, but who's to know what the fallout could be if the Buckeyes fail to come back? But they have lived uh, close to the edge for so long, and I'm sure it doesn't bother them anymore. Well, they've been coming back all year long. That's what's made a great season. Hey, Alabama, Tennessee, and in Arkansas, Texas. Coming up as soon as we get a decision here in Iowa City. Going to sit back in that zone defensively. Let's see if they find Jackson. Yo, they're chasing Jackson right now. See, they're playing man-to-man -man on Jimmy Jackson. Moses going everywhere he's going. Moses pounding it. They try to dump it down inside, and Rodell Davis gets it. Got to back it out. Got to bring it out. Spread the court. Buckeyes hurried back. They try a trap, and Brown foul. Well, I'll tell you right now, they're a 65% free throw shooting team, Iowa. Great move by Tom Davis in a timeout. Look at this. Missouri beats Nebraska. They're on probation. Doug Smith has a phenomenal game. I say congratulations to Missouri. But to me, as I said time and time again, they don't belong in. Carolina wins by 16. 
The reason because they're on probation, and to me, they should not be allowed to participate, a la Kentucky, in the Southeastern Conference. Skinner will go to the free throw line. He's an 83% free throw shooter, Keith. Excellent free throw shooter. Awfully big points right here. He has shot many a free throw with his daddy supervising him. His daddy was his high school coach. We see a father and son act coming up next. Wade Houston and Allen Houston for Tennessee. And there's a great one at Wisconsin Green Bay. Tony Bennett and Dick Bennett. Six point lead, 102 to play. Iowa. Buckeyes got to hurry. Jackson comes to front court. They don't score in his possession. They got to get the bus. Get ready to go back to Buckeye land and regroup. Three pointer Brown. Doesn't go. Ball's on the floor with Moses. Jump ball. Alternate possession goes to Iowa. You got about 15,000 people in Carver Hawkeye Arena, and they are thundering right now. I want to know how many are in Bloomington, Indiana, going bananas, standing up yep. right now, cheering, going. I could see Knight in his office along with Ellen Berger saying, Come on, baby, hang on. Hey, Knight's not supposed to cheer against his alma mater. He's not supposed to do that. He's supposed to donate money to his alma mater. <laughs> well, there's a buggy oh. right there. Skelton into the ball game to commit the foul and does on Smith. I'll tell you one thing, though, Keith. They've had a phenomenal year. I mean, losing this game, if they were to lose here, Randy Ayers and his kids have had just one fantastic season. I mean, you talk about an incredible year. Everybody after them. Look at the standings. Indiana won today. And there's Iowa. They would go 9-9 nine and nine and tie Purdue for the first division. Remember, Illinois not eligible on probation. Time out. 46.8 seconds to be played. I've been working for Calumet Farm soon be 49 years. I've worked for some famous horses. What gives a certain group of people the ability to consistently do the impossible? Take Calumet Farm. No other farm has ever dominated horse racing like Calumet. Whirl away, Citation, Aladar. It would take a winner's circle as big as Kentucky to do justice to this amazing stable. When excellence becomes a tradition, there's no end to the greatness. And it doesn't happen only in horse racing. In the auto industry, Ford Motor Company has continually been a leader in innovation. And there's much more to come. Our new modular V8 represents a dramatic improvement in both efficiency and performance. And our new Crown Victoria and Grand Marquis are redefining the concept of luxury ride and handling. America fell in love with Ford in the 80s. And smart money will tell you, we're going to be even tougher to beat in the 90s. Ford Motor Company. Seventy-three sixty-seven, and less than a minute to go. Well, this free throw becomes big because if he converts one here, he forces three possessions versus two. If he misses this, they have a chance with two possessions. Kevin Smith at the foul line this year is 17 for 45. So the chances of a miss, pretty good. I'll tell you one thing, that's scary to have your point yeah. going. Isn't it? Look good right there, but it's scary for the future to have a guy that's going to be a point guard to handle the ball be that poor of a free throw shooter. Shooting 35% on a free throw line. 37, I'm sorry. Missed the second one. And a rebound to Carter, and the clock is running. They need three possessions, Keith. First quick basket, they got to get one. Jackson doesn't get it. Earl had it. Gent saved it. Outside to Brown. Brown goes for the three, doesn't get that one. And a rebound on Smith and a foul on Carter. Well, Dr. Tom's got to be happy. They've outscrapped and out-hustled Ohio State here today, Keith, right out of the gate. So it's just a matter of do they hang on. They got some big plays out of little guard Smith, A.C. Earl off the bench. As you said earlier, they've been leading from right out of the gate. Carter's fourth foul. That doesn't make much difference right now. Just a little more than 30 seconds to go. And Smith hits the first one. And I think you can close the door on this one at 75-67.
30 seconds to play. See, I think what's going to haunt Ohio State, Bethune Cookman, Delaware State, Youngstown State, Chicago State, Wright State, American University, Tennessee State, those are not what you call quality wins when you use that computer, and that could hurt them getting a number one seed after losing here today. It's a nine point lead for Iowa. Today, a guy losing his hair can choose between being the man he wants to be. We look great with hair. Do something to save it. And the man he could become. Can't you accept nature like everyone else? Doctors have hair loss treatment programs that are proven to work. And the sooner you see a doctor, the better. We don't want nature. We want hair. When you considered the arguments. We might look great bald. And you decide you want oh. hair. There's only one thing to do. See your doctor. Or call this number for more information. You know, these people who call, they feel like they want to be AT&T. They say, well, we, we've got AT&T quality, we've got AT&T service, we've got AT&T this and that. So I say, yeah. just put it in okay, right. Put it in I right. mean, I hate to sound like I'm not interested, but I, I'm not interested. Yeah, hello. I've always had AT&T. Uh, no one gives me near the service they give me. No one gives me more ways to save. I'm supposed to give all that up? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No matter what they say, it doesn't add up to AT&T. You have a good day. They want to be, but they're not AT&T. It's a big, 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 big win for Iowa. 20-game season coming off a 12 and 16 uh, season last year. They've done it with a bunch of babies. The bench scoring, Iowa got 31 points out of its bench today. Ohio State only 11. Coming up next, Alabama, Tennessee for the Southeastern Conference Championship. Or some of you will see Arkansas and Texas for the Southwest Conference Championship. Dick Vitale's already packed up, ready to roll again, having done seven ball games in seven days. That's incredible. Hey, Keith, it's been a pleasure working with you this year. We've had some great, great games our last one, but it's been five unbelievable weeks that we have had. we got a foul underneath. That'll stop the clock at 18-plus seconds to go. Mark Amedo handling our stats during the basketball season. And all the people that have worked so hard. We've had some instances uh, where we've had our engineering guys have had to come to work at 2 o'clock in the morning to make it all work. But they've done it, and we appreciate that. I just want to know that we convert you to basketball after the five weeks we've had. We got away from those helmets. I've been doing basketball since 1952. When I was 13 years old, I was watching you and Big Bill Russell. <laughs> the NBA on ABC. But... Here's a guy for the future right here, I think, for the Iowa Hawkeyes, A.C. Earl on the free throw line. Yeah, he, can, too. he can really be a good player. He's got to get in the weight room, get a little tougher physically. He's young. He's got a heck of a future with that size and has a good touch. And he's got a good teacher in Dr. Tom Davis who can really teach him how to play the game. You know, it really has been a pretty good year for a Hawkeye uh, sports folks. The football team went to the Rose Bowl. The basketball team wins 20 games. The wrestling team has a chance to pick up another one here starting Thursday in this arena. Long pass down to Davis. Oh, that's the extra foul on Baker. There's the exclamation point. They're rocking and rolling. It's party time. Look at James Bowles. He's doing a little strut. A little high five. And the Iowa cheerleaders love it. Ought to be strutting tonight on the campus here in Iowa City. Tom Davis now will clean the bench and get everybody into the game that he can. You mentioned wrestling. You ready for this record? Dan Gable won nine consecutive at one time NCAA championship, 18 Big Ten championships. The Iowa women uh, basketball team also in, invited to the NCAA. The Big Ten's got four women's teams going. I figure to have four men's teams going. That's not too bad. I say five, Keith. I think Purdue's going to get in. I think Purdue's going to Well, I, I don't know why not. A lot of people say no, but I think Purdue's going to get in. I kind of like that, their chances. <laughs> Davis makes the three throw, and you've got just a little more than two ticks remaining on the clock. And Dick's right. They will be celebrating in Iowa City tonight. Up comes Baker, the long rainbow. The game is over. Iowa beats Ohio State 80 to 70.
69 to become co-Big Ten champions with the Indiana Hoosiers. But remember, they beat Indiana twice head-to-head, -head, so they get the automatic berth. But mathematically, it's a tie. Now the question is, will they get a number one seed? Whatever, March Madness is at hand. ABC's College Basketball has been brought to you by Ford Motor Company.